Okay, welcome to the Warrior of Newport Part 3. We are now on Volume 2. Turns out I didn't die. Which, which is good. I don't know who was making those sounds at the end. I guess somebody carried me in. I don't know, some sort of deep one gurgling away. I couldn't tell. Looks like a stormy night. That cage of yours did not prove to be my end. I escaped, Whoa. breaking through the weathered iron bars, making for the bridge. Unfortunately, I did not make it far. I lost consciousness from blood loss before I reached land. So, was I making those noises, just after I was shot? When I awoke, I found myself in unfamiliar territory. It seemed, Gray, that my journey was not over. I can say now, with hindsight, that it was only the beginning of what really mattered. Of the horrors in that scene. I found myself gaining consciousness in a house during a tremendous downpour. Well, gaining consciousness is a good start. I to feel no pain from the then bandaged wound in my right leg. Unfortunately, the door had been locked, so I waited it out. All I had to occupy my time was a man's diary by his bed. The poor fellow. Diary by the bed, right, that's where I'm going then. I can see it, it's got blood all over it, but there's meant to be a diary around here. Yep, I can see it actually, right next to it. Oh, I know, I know. It's not the first time I've done this. Okay, so we've got a two page document, which is the Diary of Sidney Wayne, the prior governor of Newport. Okay, it sounds like this guy was taken over by three guys called Alan Marsh, Edgar Gray, and Obed Cunningham, who made the Newport hierarchy. And the disease seems to be getting to him. Right, I am going to go to page two. Okay, so I get the idea from reading this that perhaps when Grey came to see him, he killed him, judging by the blood on the bed. I'm, I'm not sure. Interesting nonetheless. Every time I pick up a book and read a page, I'm more and more interested. Right, so I'm locked in here, right? Well, there's planks in front of this door. I think there's... I think that's a door over there as well. Whoa! Haha! <laughs> Physics has saved the day. Thank you, window and uh, pole of wood. Once I got out of the house, <laughs> I followed the road. Right. I found a ledge I could descend from at the end. Okay. I presume this is the road he's talking about, and there's a ledge at the end of this. Um, I am drawn to the torches, though, and I notice there is another one behind the house. So, oh, is there is there a book on the outhouse as well for a little bit? Okay, maybe I don't want to go back there? No, I really do. Is there a book on here? No? 
Didn't want to. Didn't want to read something while taking a shit. No. Okay. You just gotta love the cry engine, really, haven't you? It's just phenomenal. Doesn't appear to be anything back here. Well, there's a well, there's a road here, I guess. What does that say? Does it say anything? Okay, 15 miles to Hamlet. I am quite away away from where I was. This this means I truly am lost. <laughs> I am so screwed. Okay. Right then, I better get onto this path. I better follow his instructions. He knows what's going on. I don't. So I've got to follow this path. There's going to be a, a ledge at the end, did it say? Did he say? Something like that. Whoa! Okay. I'm getting pretty lucky here. I mean, I've avoided drowning a couple of times. Lightning strikes, and I'm feet away. And I'm still alive. Not bad, really. Is this is this what he was talking about? I mean, the road just sort of ends here, doesn't it? There's nothing more. Well, it's fading out, so I, I guess I went the right way. And so, after I climbed down from that cliffside, I found myself located in a singularly disturbing forested patch, leading toward what smelled like a rank swamp at the time. Really? The woods on either side were much too thick and brooding for me to pass them, so I kept down the trail. The area ahead proved to be enough of a challenge for me anyway. Really? Enough of a challenge for you. Why? Keep going. Keep talking. What What are you talking about? What am I going to see? What's going to happen? What was that? I keep hearing these noises, but I don't see anything. And that's a bit more unnerving than seeing something at this point, I think. Campfire. But no fire. No books. Either, unfortunately. That's what I'm on the lookout for. There is a cabin up there, though. Something over there as well. With some, some boxes on it or something? I'm not sure. And there's some more torches down there. With more boxes, believe it or not. What the... Did... It Hang on, what? Did I just see something? Did it... Whoa! Something's moving that box over there. Fuck. Wait, no! <laughs> I know what these things are. I thought I thought I knew, but now I do know. They're, they're just the aliens from Crisis. Which sort of breaks my immersion a little bit. They can be quite creepy. I think they're retextured or something. See any books around here? Possibly. I don't think I saw any on the path down here. No, no. Ah, what's down here? Oh, there's a boat down there. Uh, didn't he say earlier that it, you smelt a swamp? I guess he was right. It looks like a swamp to me. Oh. Ah, oh, don't tell me I'm gonna No? I'm okay. That was the that was the shortest concussion ever. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm up and about. Heading towards the boat. Ah, oh, does that mean I'm gonna have to punch the boat just like in, in crisis? I was never brilliant at it, and especially when you don't have a gun or suit powers. How is this boat moving? Is it on a track? <laughs> okay. I know that that is just simply a sound effect from Crisis of the aliens, but that in this scenario is actually quite genuinely creepy. I'm not I'm not guiding this by the way. This is essentially a movie. He he's doing it himself. What? Don't you you oh, 
If I was in control, that wouldn't have happened. How did you manage that? You I fool. then found myself lost in new territory for me. A swamp. My method of escape proved to be a house not too far from where I jumped down, populated by a singularly terrifying creature. The marshy expanse itself would prove to be useless to me beyond a small camp in the wilderness, but the house was my escape. To acquire the ladder from the house, I managed to kill what was inside by gathering gas tanks and barrels and detonating them with the man's pistol, which I had found in the campsite. Right, that was quite a lot to take in. And I haven't done any of that yet. I need to find a house. There's a creature inside the house. I need to find a gun, and I need to... detonate a gas tank to kill the creature in the house. <laughs> that actually made me jump. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. What is that? There is something over there. But I think I might be at the camp. That looks like a, a campfire to me. Or a bonfire. Nah, this is the camp. This has got to be the camp. So this is... Damn, that's quite loud. That's close. Okay, yeah. Um... There's meant to be a gun here. Yes, there is a gun here. And a book. Let's read the book first. Page one of one. Oh, go on then. I think I'll read this bit. I like to do at least one page in every video, you know. Okay, so we've got the German Expeditionary Log 65. At last I have some quiet where I can think and write. We're safe for now. Jared radioed us. He told us to go and that he had distracted and tried to trap it. For the past half hour we heard screaming, gunfire, and a hammer banging off in the swamp. I think he might have been able to trap it in the house up on the walkway not too far away. God knows why someone has a house in these godforsaken swamps, but it is a miracle he found it in time. Okay. The creature came out of the woodwork at us with blinding speed, attacking me and my partner Agna. I got a shot into its... uh... leg? With my M1911, it ran off. No doubt going after Jared's aforementioned party. He radioed us he would take care of it. I hope he can. The proportions of the creature were unlike anything I've ever seen. I have only read old fables of creatures deep in the ancient Prussian forests who fit such a bill. But here? On Newport? In the meantime, we're lost in this blasted swamp and have little rations and no means to escape until sunrise. What perplexes me more of the s is the sounds of fighting, explosions and roaring all around in the far distance. Has Newport been attacked? And more importantly, I do not think we're safe for long. I can hear noises in the trees. That's very comforting that that is the last entry, isn't it? Especially when there's blood all around this place. And the gun is placed just, just perfectly so on this little table down here. No signs of bodies either. Right. So I've got to take this gun there we go. Now I've got a weapon, I feel a little bit more vulnerable, if that makes sense. Now I have a chance to defend myself, I think there's a higher chance of me being attacked. There's my logic for you. Okay, uh... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not liking this so much. Um... I don't think I'm getting through there. So... Let's go... Back into the swamp, I guess. I did see something a little bit earlier. Quite a way off in the distance. Yes, there's a torch a long way away. There's something there as well. Right, yeah. It's got to be this way. That's where I came from, so... Let's head this way. Whoa. Whoa. None of that, please. I'm already a little bit on edge. I just want to read. Go away. A sign saying, caution, keep out. What's that? that? Keep out of the water, or... Or just keep off this platform? 
Uh, what did that log say? It said that, that the house was on a, a platform, so... This leads to something. I don't know, it's a little bit too misty. I think I see a little cabin up there. Let's go. Or not. No, we could we could just chill here for a while, that'd be okay. Not exactly the best way to uh, approach the place. I'm probably missing a perfectly good staircase, but these boxes will have to do at this point. Right. I noticed there was a tank down there, but... What was that? Was that gunfire? Sounded like a cannon or something, actually. From a long way away. What's that down there? There's another... I think that's another tank. I, s I saw one down there. It did mention detonating a gas tank. Or did it mean this? It... Hmm. I don't know. Seriously, what the fuck was that? Okay. So this is probably the house it was talking about. Uh, oh. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take this. For comfort, you know. Okay. So... So this is the place, is it? Well... Oh shit. Okay, yeah. Something is inside here. <laughs> okay. Um... I haven't seen any more of these. Maybe this is my one and only shot. I want it to be as close to the building as possible. Or maybe I have to... Th maybe I have to throw it in a window or something. I don't know. Shit. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. I don't know. Something is inside and wants to come out. Right, let's just place this next to the door. Seems to be right next to this wall. Okay. Let me just... Walk a little bit further back. Let's hope this works. Ho ho! With the creature gone, I knew that I had to explore the house, or perhaps its ruins, to find a way over the low hanging cliff on the north side. I located a ladder which sufficed and propped it up against the lowest overhang I could find and escaped the swamp. Good. It's a bit of a miracle I didn't blow it up, really. Okay, so uh, get out of the swamp. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me, to be honest. Grey, what? what do you mean? Why would you ask me that now? What? You want me to retell you the entire story? I still do not remember how I came to be in a frozen winter forest, nor do I remember possessing a late wife. But this memory is clear as day, and goes as follows. What the hell? It's... well, it's... it seems to be snowing inside. Effective roof is effective. Okay, um, bit of a change of scenery here. A couple of books to read by the looks of it. Yeah, it's snowing outside, wow. Okay, tell you what though, let's leave that for video 4.